your skin, Pink Vanish. What's up guys, it's Pretty and Picos here. Today I thought I'd share 20 skincare tips from an esthetician. I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. I am a skincare professional, but that doesn't mean I am a skincare expert. I'm still learning, I'm still kind of finding my way in the skincare industry, but I did want to give you guys 20 of my favorite skincare tips that you could apply in your everyday skincare routine. Number one, always wash your face in the morning. This is the most important step can't explain how important it is to wash your face in the morning. Your skin works its best during the night, so it's working all night long rejuvenating your skin, shedding those dead skin cells, so when you wake up in the morning, my first tip for you would definitely be to wash your face. Number two, always take your makeup off before you go to bed. So at the end of the day, I always recommend that you wash your face, you take your makeup off, you do your whole skincare routine. That way, when your skin does work overtime at night, it has all those great products on your skin. It doesn't have any makeup. It doesn't have any of the sebum or any of the oil that you collected throughout the day. Your skin will be completely clean and ready for the night. Number three, eat with your skin in mind. So with that being said, I'm sure with this channel, with the other Banished Warriors, everyone's always saying you gotta eat clean, you have to eat healthy, you have to eat with your skin in mind. If you're eating fatty foods, if you're eating foods that are unhealthy for you, then it's gonna be unhealthy for your skin as well. And your skin is gonna reflect that. So if you eat healthy, your skin will reflect that as well. So eating healthy will definitely help you with any skincare problems that you're having, and it will definitely help with your acne as well. Number four, exfoliate, but don't over exfoliate. So when I mean don't over exfoliate, I mean you don't want to be using an exfoliator three, four, five times a week. You kind of want to be doing once in the beginning of the week, once at the end of the week. It'll kind of depend on your type of skin. So if you have more oily skin, you could probably get away with three times a week. I wouldn't say every other day, but I definitely would say splitting them up three times a week would be okay if you have more oily skin. But for people with sensitive skin, people with dry skin or more normal skin, once to twice a week is definitely all that you need. If you over exfoliate your skin, you might strip the skin of the nutrients and you definitely do not want that. So one to two times a week if you have normal to dry skin and if you have oily skin, two to three times would be um, perfectly acceptable. Number five, always wear sunscreen. I know that everyone always says you should put on sunscreen before you go outside, but that is the truth. Sunscreen is gonna protect your skin from the sun. It's gonna protect your skin from those harsh rays that the sun can give off. So you definitely want to be wearing sunscreen anytime that you leave the house, even if it's sunny, even if it's raining. And sometimes people will say, oh, well, it's cloudy outside, so I don't need to wear sunscreen. And that is a myth. You definitely need to be wearing sunscreen anytime that the sun is out, whether it's cloudy or sunny, just because the sun can still reach through the clouds. And it can still burn your skin. Some of the worst sunburns I've ever had have been on days where I didn't wear any sunscreen because it was raining outside or because it was cloudy and overcast. And I thought, oh, well, the sun, I can't feel the sun. So it's not gonna affect my skin, but it definitely did. So applying sunscreen no matter what is always gonna be your best friend. Number six, always take care of your neck and your hands. So your neck and your hands are gonna be super important. And it's actually funny because people don't realize that the skin on your neck, it shows just as much as the skin on your face. So if you take your skincare products and you pull them down onto your neck and onto your chest, make sure you lotion your hands. You can use coconut oil on your hands, but definitely take care of your neck and your hands so that as the aging process happens, your neck and your hands will still look amazing, just like the skin on your face. Number seven, it's never too early to start anti-aging skincare. And I can't stress that enough. And people think, oh, I'm 20, I have 50 years until my skin will start to get wrinkles and that kind of stuff, but you don't realize that everything that's happening to your skin now is gonna be showing on your skin in 20 to 30 years. You sit out in the sun and you do a lot of tanning. Tanning is super awful for your skin. So if you're sitting in your tanning, in your 20s, then in your 30s and 40s and 50s, your skin is gonna look sun damaged, you're gonna start seeing the little freckles, you're gonna start seeing spots on your skin, and those all happen in your 20s. So definitely, it's never too early to start the anti-aging process. I already have products that have anti-aging ingredients in them, so my tip for you is it's never too early to start anti-aging, no matter your age. Number eight, it's always a good idea to lock down a good skincare routine. I would suggest that you lock it down as soon as possible. And I don't just mean specific products, I mean 
Every single night you wash your face, you tone your face, you put your serum on, and you put your moisturizer on. And then in the morning, you do the same thing as well. Having consistency is the key. It's gonna really help your skin out. You're gonna start seeing less breakouts. You're gonna start seeing your skincare issues and your skincare problems fade once you start having consistency in your skincare. I sometimes don't practice what I preach, and sometimes I can get thrown off due to routines and due to things getting interrupted. Sometimes I do different things each night, and sometimes I don't do anything at all, which is terrible but definitely locking down a good skincare routine is going to help you now and it's also going to help you in the future so making a good habit out of keeping your skincare routine super regular and consistent no matter the products that you're using it's really going to help you out number nine is always keep your makeup brushes and your pillowcases clean so washing your makeup brushes is super important we tend to forget that we use the makeup brushes every day, we use the pillowcases every night, and every time that you're sleeping on them, every time you're using them for your makeup, they're getting more and more dirty. So sometimes people, when they can't get rid of a skincare problem, the first thing I ask is, well, do you wash your pillowcase? Or do you wash your makeup brushes if you wear makeup? And a lot of the times their answer is no. So that would be one of the first things I would do is, as soon as you get home today, wash your makeup brushes, wash your pillowcase, Make sure everything is nice and clean and I would do that on a regular basis. Number 10, eye creams are worth the money. So when people try to tell me, oh my gosh, this eye cream is like $50 and, but the moisturizer for my whole face is only $35. You have to remember that the skin under your eyes and around your eyes is gonna be the most delicate and it's gonna be the most sensitive and it's gonna be the most thin skin that you have on your entire body. So taking care of the skin under your eyes is gonna help with crow's feet, it's gonna help with the fine lines and wrinkles, it's gonna help with any dark circles that you have. And skincare that is made specifically for the eye, it's gonna be targeting those areas specifically. So eye creams are definitely worth the money because those products are designed for thin skin, they're designed for sensitive skin, and they're designed to be safe around your eyes. Number 11, toners are amazing and they're a perfect way to rebalance your skin, so never skip your toner. Skipping your toner, it doesn't seem like that crucial of a step, but toners are perfect for balancing your skin, for helping to clean the rest of your skin off, to kind of open those pores and refresh in the skin so that your skin is ready to receive other products. And I find that when I use a toner, my products sink in much quicker, I see results faster because my pores are open and ready to receive the products. And then when I don't use toner, I find that it takes longer for my products to soak in and it takes longer for the product to actually work on my skin. So toner doesn't seem like an amazing step, but a toner is so good for your skin and it's perfect for rebalancing. And it's also really good for rebalancing the pH of your skin as well. Number 12, exercise your face muscles regularly. And I know this sounds super crazy, but exercising your face muscles is gonna help with venting aging. It's gonna help with fine lines and wrinkles. It's gonna help to tone and make your skin smooth and plump. So any kind of massage on your face, rubbing upwards, that's always important is everything needs to be rubbed upwards. So rubbing, massaging, doing that kind of stuff, stimulating your skin, it's gonna really help you in the future. You might seem kind of silly doing it now, but in 15, 20 years, when you start to see those fine lines and wrinkles and you start to have a more of the aging process showing on your skin, doing the massage and doing that kind of stuff is gonna to help to prevent that. Fact number 13, always get at least eight hours of sleep. So I say at least eight hours of sleep, but I feel like if you sleep more than eight hours, you end up feeling more tired. I've been told that your body does things in like eight hour cycles. So in the morning time, eight hours later, like you're feeling good, you're feeling great. And then the afternoon, evening time, you start to slow down again. Then when you go to sleep, you sleep a full eight hours and your body is completely rejuvenized. It's ready to wake up. It's ready to go on with the day. But if you sleep more than eight hours, your body actually starts over. So you're actually going into the amount of hours that you would feel awake. You'll feel more tired if you get more than eight hours of sleep. And you'll also feel tired if you get less than eight hours of sleep as well. So eight is like the perfect number of hours you need every night. Number 14, invest in great skincare. So I don't wanna say that and then everybody thinks like, okay, I have to go out and buy like $50 moisturizers and $100 face wash, that is not what I mean. I mean you wanna have specific items in your skincare line that are gonna be more high-end, that are gonna be organic or gonna be natural, gonna be really great products that you can find even at the drugstore. You wanna make sure that you have a great skincare routine. So it'll help with the anti-aging process, it'll help with your skin issues, but having those great products in your skincare is definitely gonna make it worth it. Number 15, form a great skincare team. The dermatologist, an esthetician, a skincare professional. So you wanna really build that team of people that are gonna be there for you, that are gonna help you through your skincare problems, that are professionals. You don't just want 
some person from the beauty section of Target to be giving you your skincare advice. And building that is gonna help you now and it's gonna help you in the future as well. Number 16, skincare tools should become your best friends. So when I mean skincare tools, I mean like the microneedling tools, like the banisher, things like rollers, like the pore smasher, the microdermabrasion machine. Those things are gonna be things you can buy at home, like the microneedling, and then there's things like the microdermabrasion machine. Definitely suggest that you go to an esthetician or a dermatologist office to have a microdermabrasion machine done. Um, it can be harsh on the skin, but it's very beneficial when it's done correctly, and it's very beneficial when it's done by a skincare professional. Definitely make those your best friend. It's gonna really help you out. Make your skin even better than just using everyday products and just using the products on your skin. It's gonna help you kind of push those products deeper. It's gonna help you start with a clean slate. It's definitely gonna help you now and in the future as well. And I know that I keep saying that, but you guys need to realize it's so important that you start your skincare right now. It doesn't matter if you're 18, it doesn't matter if you're 16, it doesn't matter if you're 25 or 45. Start Starting your skincare now, it is never too late. Number 17, having a great skincare routine doesn't mean that you have a whole bunch of products. Having too many products can actually not be great for your skin. So my tip to you is to kind of cut down on the things that you use, keep it basic, keep moisturizer, a face wash, a toner, a serum, and an eye cream. You don't have to go over the top, you don't have to use 45 different products to make your skin look amazing you can definitely achieve great skin with just a handful of really great products. 18. Change your skincare products at least three times a year. So when I say that I don't just mean like buy willy nilly everything that you want and try every different thing every single week and freak your skin out. What I mean is if you have a really great skincare routine that's awesome but your skin can get used to the products that you're using so my suggestion is to you to at least change your products up to three times a year. So if you have a set routine, you can use it for a couple of months and then change a couple of products. Use those products for a couple more months and then change them again. So my suggestion is like quarterly. So three to four times a year, you change your routine. You can kind of change it up a little bit so that your skin isn't getting used to the products that you use every single day. So I would have clients come to me and say, I've been using this really great skincare products for the whole year and they're not doing anything for me they used to do stuff for me but now i don't see any difference so what i tell those people is they need to change up their skincare routine your skin can get used to products over a certain amount of time and then your products won't be as effective and it won't do the things that it claims it does so my suggestion to you would be change your skincare at least three times a year 19. if you can't get to an esthetician definitely do an at-home facial as many times as you can i love at home facials i think they're amazing i think they're super great for self-care and that kind of stuff what i sometimes do is if i want like a more high-end facial i'll get all my tools out i'll go to sephora i'll either buy a new mask or i'll buy a new skincare product or i'll even get some samples of like some super expensive stuff to try out i'll bring those home and i'll steam my face i'll massage my face, I'll use all these nice products that I have and the nice products that I bought. And you really change up your skincare routine for the night and just pamper yourself. It's gonna do wonders for you physically, it's gonna do wonders for your skin, and it's definitely gonna do wonders for you mentally as well. And the last tip that I have for you, tip number 20, would definitely be never, ever, ever wash your face with a bar of soap. And I'm not talking about a bar of soap that's made for your face, I'm talking about a bar of soap that you wash your hands with, a bar of soap that you wash your body with, is not designed for your skin. It'll strip the skin of your nutrients and it'll actually start reversing all the things that you're doing for your skin. It's gonna dry your skin out. There's bacteria on the bar of soap from your hands or your body that your face is not used to. So I definitely, if you take anything away from this video, do not wash your face with a bar of soap. All right guys, that concludes my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, make sure you subscribe to the Acne channel and click that bell notification button so that you can get notified every time that we post a new video. I'll be coming out next month with the Science of Skin series that I talked about in my intro video, so you can definitely tune in in a couple of weeks to see that video from me. And you can find me on Instagram at pretty in underscore Picos, P-C-O-S. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.